Action! <laughs> hey, good morning. What's going on? Uh, it's Saturday again, bench day. Uh, usually it takes us about two minutes to drive to the gym here on Quantico, but we have to get gas, so now we're on our way back. I'm not gearing up today. I'm just uh, I'm feeling pretty wrecked from last week. You know, two weeks in a row benching in gear. So it's going to be a, a raw day. Got some new gear from Anderson Powerlifting, so we're gonna give that a try today too. Probably use uh, the SBD elbow sleeves, which I've never used before, so that's gonna be kind of exciting. Um, and then probably the uh, the Super Ram that Titan made for me as well. All right, so here we go. This is just a typical uh, workout that I do when I'm not in my gear. Uh, on a Saturday like this, it's going to be a lot of top end, you know, tricep dominant movements. You know, for instance, today starting out with a dead stop floor, floor press variation. Uh, it's not quite a full range of motion. I'm kind of doing the top half of a floor press. I'm doing straight weight today. Sometimes I'll add chain resistance just to keep it interesting. Uh, do, I try to do about two pressing movements on one of these days, two main pressing movements followed by the accessory work. And I'm talking a lot about the volume, and this is uh, no exception to that, so I'm trying to do sets of five with uh, all my weights here. So right now we're at 405. This is a set of five, uh, just raw. I got the SBD elbow sleeves, and they're awesome. Like I've never used them before, and uh, they, they really are... Uh, works of craft, craftsmanship. So as we move up in weight, um, I'm actually going to use the Super Ram that I had talked about before that Titan had made me. And this is a, I'm, putting, I'm really putting it to use today. I use it for both of my pressing movements. So Moving up to 495. And I'm having some issues with my right pec. Uh, you, you can't see it now. On the next set of a, uh, you know, set that I wanted to get five reps with, I only managed one. And you're going to see my pec just didn't want to cooperate. didn't want to support the heavy weight. And here you can see it here. Kind of a dip. Not quite getting it. I'm going to show you another angle so you can better see what I'm talking about. In my right arm. No. This is supposed to be a set of five. And then there's a second second rep that I decided not to even try and go for. So it was kind of upsetting. But it's all well. Go back down to 495. There's another set of five. And the weight's moving, you know very well uh, the last set you know I'm going for broke this is what that set is uh, just I think it's 10 reps as you can see I'm using a very thin blue padding on the floor uh, I've actually uh, hurt my scapulas in the past benching on just the hard floor I feel like they they aren't able to go through their natural uh, motions uh, so you put a very thin padding down and it helps you prevent injury. And in my opinion, you know, obviously you can't bench on a pad any wider than the flat floor. So that also kind of saves my shoulders because a lot of the paddings here at Quantico Gym are a little thin, a little narrow on the narrow side. So now we're moving on. This is my second press movement. This is a three board, kind of a narrow grip. Uh, as the weight gets a little heavier, my you'll see my grip kind of go out. My pinkies will eventually end up on the rings. My darling wife is not only running the camera, but she's also holding the boards. So I'm doing all the my handoffs my, on my own. That's typical. That's a typical thing that we do here. For training purposes, I think that's awesome. You know, it makes the movement harder, makes everything harder. So, I really don't have an issue with this. Is 495, and the weight is moving very well. 
feeling pretty good. So next set we move up to 585. Now you can see my grip is out. Pinky's on the ring, which is still a narrow grip for me. I mean, you know, normally in the shirt I have my trigger fingers on the rings, widest legal grip. Um, so it's a little bit more narrow, more tricep dominant. The weight continues to move pretty decently. So the next set we go up, 20 more pounds. And doing sets of five. My hands were really hurting. My wraps were pushing all my skin up. And then, you know, up to the bar was really compressing my skin. And I was really having some pain in my palms. But, you know, it's all superficial. Uh, here on this set, I'm wearing a belt, my new KLA uh, Omega bench belt, because uh, my shirt kept riding up and my belly was sticking out. It's kind of pissing me off. So finally, on the last set of the day, I decided to put a belt on and keep that from happening. This is the most weight I've handed off to myself uh, ever, uh, 6.05. Um, so I was pretty psyched up for this set on how easy the last set went. And this will be another set of five. So all in all, really good workout. Finished with some other accessories. Uh, we didn't record those, put them on my Instagram stories. Just some tricep extensions. And I'm hurting, so job well done.